got some things that I'd like for you to uh, tell me whether, you know, what relationship these things have with bacteria or microorganisms. Okay, here's a uh, container of how many? They're about to, they need to go. Okay, so here's a yogurt. What's the relationship? I can't. Yogurt has uh, cultured live bacteria. Yes. Okay. Um, box of uh, crackers. Yeast. Yeast. Yes. Very good. Okay. How about some oil? I'm sorry? A natural resource. A natural resource, yes, it is. But what's the relationship with bacteria? It's made up of dead algae bacteria that dies the algae. That's right. It's from fossilized, yeah, from a long time ago. That's the source of oil. Also, bacteria are used for bioremediation for oil spills. The first one is bacteria up, up at the top. And the next one is archaea. Somebody had mentioned over there. And then this is the eukarya. And if you see, there's the homo in red. That's where we are. But we are outnumbered by all these microorganisms in three domains in this universal phylogenetic tree. Makes us feel kind of insignificant and makes us also realize how important microorganisms are. And so I want to uh, just briefly uh, go through, show you some, some interesting uh, microorganisms. It is uh, cyanobacteria, the two different kinds. Again, uh, another kind, Nosta. It looks pretty weird. Anibina, another kind. And here's what they look like when there's millions and billions of them. This is a fungal spore. Another kind of fungus. The, uh, same genus, different species. Another kind of fungi, same as this one. So these are salt turns or salt beds and they've turned red because of this halophilic or salt-loving bacteria and hot springs with cyanobacteria. And here's the acid mine drainage. The thiobacillus, they, they turned the soil and uh, water red due to the iron oxides. We will be buried in waste. We'll be buried in dead materials. Dead plants, dead animals, dead humans, because there will not be any decomposition. And the microorganisms are the ones that degrade. They're the ones that cycle the nutrients that we need. And if we don't have microorganisms, we may not have toothaches because we won't have, uh, or, or spoilates of food, but we will also be in, you know, we will run out of nutrients because they are the ones who who keep cycling the nutrients that we need, that plants need, that uh, animals need. So I thank you for your attention.